In this video, we will be looking at two questions pertaining to strings and how generally a common mistake can be made when using strings. Let's look at the first question. In the first question, we have a person named Raj who wants to write a clever program. And the program he wants to write takes a string input and prints an output. The output is formatted in such a way that first the string prints and then the number of characters in this particular string. What we are asked in the question is to choose all the logical errors from the list below. This program, this eight line program is valid. This way of writing printf functions is also valid. So let's just examine each one of these cases extensively. First, the format specifier used is wrong. Okay. The format specifier for scanning of string is models. So this is correct. The format specifier to print a string is again models. This is correct. The format specifier to print a number is mod D, an integer value is mod D, and we know that. So this is wrong. Another base information that is expected of you is the printf function returns the number of characters that have been printed in the particular statement. So yes, the format specifier used is wrong. Let's look at the second answer. The string does not accept space characters. Technically, the scanf function in stdio takes a single string from the user. By default, it does not include spaces or any endline characters. The moment it reaches an endline character, it stops. So, if the string that the user wanted to print or put in was say, Raj is clever, this would not be stored. Only the string Raj would be stored. And since we are not specifying this outright, this can lead to a logical error in future. So yes, the, since the string does not accept all characters or endline characters, it can be a logical error given the right input. Okay, we're using an extra variable n, which has not been used anywhere in the entire program. Yes, this is definitely the case, but this is not a logical error. By using an extra variable n, we are not changing the logic used in the program. So C is not the right answer. The inputted string length may exceed storage. This is another case. In C, when we are defining strings, we have to do it in form of an array. And this particular array has a fixed limit. So if I wanted to store a longer string, say this entire question in this particular string of 20 characters, I would not be able to, even if I had removed all the spaces from it. What would happen is it will store the first 20 characters because that's the size of the string and miss any character after. So again, since we're not outrightly specifying this while writing the program, this will lead to a logical error down the line. I hope this was clear. If you have any queries, you should write down in the comment section. We are always looking at more feedback. And now let's look at the next question here. The program asks us to find the second most frequent character in a given string. Since this program only takes one input, statements one, two, three are correct. At statement number four, we are asked to make an integer i and an integer word. Let's assume the first one is i and second one is word. i is initialized with zero and word is initialized with one. 
then we are asked to start a while loop and a conditional is made what does this particular conditional say let's see it says look at the first element look at the ith element of string what is the i value here zero so look at the ith value of the string this i value here is o if the i value is space then increase the value of word increase the value of i and continue otherwise is our first character space no it isn't so by default none of these statements will run which means that our increment our index value the index value our i value will not increase which means this here will become an infinite loop and our program will not end we need to fix this to fix this what we can do we can simply change the placement of this brace to here and that's the solution so every time the while loop executes the value of i shall be increased looking at this we can see that the c option is correct okay and let's go forward option a says that we are using wrong format specifiers we are only using format specifiers here and since we are printing an integer value mod d is correct so this is wrong the algorithm does not consider other characters such as mod uh, slash t or even slash n those can be used to enter strings so is this right it is it could happen that instead of writing okay fine hello with spaces one could write okay slash tab and then fine the effect would be okay and then four spaces or eight spaces and then the word fine so yes this is correct this is a logical error in our program also option d says that multiple spaces would lead to wrong results again look at the code here what is this particular code doing the code is counting the number of times a space is hit so if the string was just space 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 the answer would be 3 why the answer should have been 1 or 0 if you were to debate but 3 shall not be the answer in either case so yes using multiple spaces will also lead an error lead to an error here that's all in this video be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll be posting another one of these every day